Hello, my name is Ramad, and I'm going to be talking to you about dinosaurs. So let's get started. So the dinosaurs, it, they went extinct 75 million years ago, 70 million years ago. And so I'm going to name a few of them, not all of them, but not too little. I'll try my best to tell you every dinosaur I know. Okay, let's start. Let's start with an easy one we know. T-Rex, aka Tyrannosaurus Rex. I really don't have to say anything about the T-Rex because I already did a video all about T-Rex. Make sure to check my YouTube channel for it. And also, just let's move on. Iguanodon. The next one is Iguanodon. It's Iguanodon doesn't doesn't. It's a herbivore, but it doesn't use its tail to whack or defend itself or attack. It doesn't use its 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 head to head, but it doesn't do a kick. But it actually shings it with its claws. It's like super sharp claws and very big. And also, let's move on. Let's do the Carnotaurus. The Carnotaurus. It has two horns on the on its head, so which it uses to headbutt or and defend and attack itself from its prey or predators. Peace. So, and also another fact about the Carnotaurus: it wasn't the biggest, it wasn't the strongest, it wasn't the largest. But it was still big, strong, and large. So don't underestimate it, but it wasn't the biggest dinosaur or the better dinosaur. So also moving, the Triceratops. The Triceratops, it, it had two more. If you just think that it has two horns, just these here, you're wrong. But there is two horns here, but there's another horn on the front of its head. Is it like a rhino, like in the middle? Yeah, it's kind of like the rhino, but yeah, it's kind of like a rhino, but just two more. Okay. Yeah. Also, just let's move on. So, next, moving on, it's Spinosaurus, aka I like to call it Spine. This is the Spinosaurus. It had a huge spine on its back, and it was. It was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur ever. So, it wasn't the biggest dinosaur ever. It, I'm going to talk about that later. But it was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur. It had a long snout. It was in Jurassic Park 3. But in real life, it, it was a teeny bit smaller in real life. Okay, moving on. So, the next one is the Argentinosaurus. The biggest dinosaur ever recorded. So the Argentinosaurus, it, the, a fun fact about Argentinosaurus was that its first fossil was found in Argentina. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I think that's why they named it Argentinosaurus. And Argentinosaurus, it had a long tail, helped it whack its prey to defend an attack. Well, it didn't whack its prey, but its predators. Moving on. Next one is Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus. You can call it Giga or Giga. I like to call it Giga. So the Gigantosaurus was, of course, gigantic. But even though it was bigger than the T-Rex and hearted Argentinosauruses and lived in groups or packs, whatever you call it, dinosaur in groups. It what well, that didn't mean it was the king of the dinosaurs, T Rexes. Also, why do you think that they came up with the name Gigantosaurus? Leave in comments below. Okay, moving on. There is Brachiosaurus. So the Brachiosaurus had a super long neck. But it didn't have a long tail. Do you know why most of the sauropods have long tails? That's because 
it uses it to to defend its predators. But since the Brachiosaurus didn't have a very long tail, um, sometimes it used its tail, but most of the time it had a very hard skull, so it could do this and lack of prey. Okay, moving on. Supersaurus, part of the sauropod family. So the Supersaurus is, if you think it's super, like Superman or Batman or Hulk, or Captain America, no. Um, it was a little bit super because it was the longest dinosaur ever recorded. Well, one of the longest, actually. One of the longest. Argentinosaurus is the longest. So the Supersaurus is a little bit super, yeah. Oh, and it was a herbivore. So just a reminder that carnivores that mean that it ate meat, herbivores that eat plants, and omnivores it means it eat meat and plants. Well, thanks for telling us. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, um, one more thing I want to tell you. That if you think T-Rex is just the only one in the Tyrannosaur family, eh, 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 wrong. Also, I have two more after this. Okay. Um, there's a f there's lots. Of, well, never mind. I'm gonna name a few of the Tyrannosaur family. So that's the Albertosaurus. Was kind of like the Carnotaurus, but just had bigger. Was bigger. Had horns. The Utyrannosaurus, it was feathers. It was a feathered Tyrannosaur. And even the Reaper of Death. The Reaper of Death. It, Tyrannosaur. That's a dinosaur? Yeah. It's called Reaper it, of Death? Yeah. It was it, it was a Tyrannosaur species that, that lived 80 to 85 million years ago. Okay. And two more. The Velociraptor. It had feathers, don't trust the movies, none of the Jurassic movies. Um, in real life, it was way smaller and had feathers. And it wasn't the smallest of the raptor family, but it was one of them. And also the Utah raptor, the biggest raptor species in the world. Also, it had feathers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, click the subscribe, and... Ring the notification bell and stay to stay up to date with all my videos and make sure to share this video with a friend. And then see you next time. Goodbye.